Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, in this one, like I said in the previous video, it's going to be a, a stocking video. Things you can keep in a 275 litre uh, or 75 gallon uh, reef tank. Now, this is considering you have a, a four foot tank, a four foot 75 gallon. Um, now, this video is basically going to be uh, my kind of idea of what I want to stock. Um, you can use it if you want, but the main thing is, yeah, that this is what I'm kind of considering. Um, and yeah, let's take it away. But a few things to consider before picking your fish is how big they get, um, you know, tank mates, how well they do um, in captivity, if they're picky eaters, things like that. So pretty much the list that I'll provide you with bar a few of them that I will talk about um, they're pretty much they do they do fine in captivity um, and you shouldn't have a problem with feeding them uh, prepared foods like pellets and flakes things like that um, so yeah the main thing is you want to start with pretty much the most docile fish and with that is you know undoubtedly the clownfish um, you're going to get one at some stage and for me why not start at the beginning so the first one i'd recommend for you know a tank of this size is uh an ocellaris just because they're so hardy they're colorful you know everyone will love them you'll love them um and they don't grow too big other options include a clarky tomato or uh, a clarky and or a tomato slash fire clownfish just beware of these three kinds they do get uh a little bit bigger than ocellaris uh, a few inches big in fact and they can be a little aggressive so just keep that in mind but uh generally in a four foot tank they do okay so that's the first uh fish i would add personally a clownfish um next you will look at uh is a blenny blenny is a really good option really smart fish um and they um they really have a lot of character most of them uh i used to have a bicolor blenny and he was honestly awesome and that's one of the first blennies i'd start with uh you can go a bicolor blenny a lawnmower blenny or or a midas blenny um all really great fish the lawnmower blenny will you know use its time to chew off green hair algae or pretty much any types of algae in the tank and they all readily accept prepared pellet food uh frozen food without any trouble in my experience so there you go three from the blennies the next fish i would look at uh adding into the tank is some sort of dotty back and the the main dotty backs that i would recommend is the the royal dotty back which is the um the one with the amazing color contrast of the pink and yellow uh, a royal grammar dotty back and a splendid you know really colorful fish they are small um make sure you keep them by themselves otherwise they will fight uh if you try pair them up and, and stuff like that but um yeah if you want to add a little splash of color you know that you might see it darting out here and there um around feeding time dotty backs are a great choice and they're pretty hardy um the next fish i would look at is uh adding a goby now there's so many so many gobies out there that you can choose from but a lot uh take a while to get eating you know you have your um your gold head sleeper gobies your mandarins um things like that your twin spots uh scooter um the thing is they don't do that well in captivity they don't accept pellets and stuff and you really need a massive micro um, organism population in your tank of copepods and amphipods things like that and um, yeah but there are a few gobies that I would recommend such as the uh, purple firefish goby and the uh, the red firefish goby they do very well in in, uh, in new setups or and you can know you can keep them in the tank as small as you know 10 20 gallons 50 liters sort of thing and they um they accept pellets no problem at all just remember to keep a lid as they are one of the uh, biggest jumpers in the hobby so just remember that uh next i would look at keeping is a uh, is a hawkfish <clears throat> 
just be careful with hawkfish though they may pick on your uh, invertebrates if they are hungry i believe um, so just keep that in mind um, the ones i look at getting is a is an archai um, which is less colorful version of the falco and then obviously you have the the long nose hawkfish um, and they'll have a lot of character um, you can also look at getting the flame hawkfish I believe that's what it's called um, they are a little bit more expensive but yeah awesome fish just remember with them as well you want to get a cover they are known to jump uh, to jump out of the aquarium uh, the next fish that I'd start to look at is when we start to get into the bigger fish um, some that are a bit more boisterous a bit more aggressive um, not aggressive in the sense that you know it'll kill your your tank mate and stuff but they can you know turn to like alphas of the tank and stuff like that and we start looking at uh, the ras, the ras type of fish. Um, most ras are brilliantly coloured, uh, very active swimmers. So four foot of space is you know perfect for them, um, and they they love food. <laughs> very easy to get them eating, um, and yeah. So I would start off with either like a melanaris ras. Um, there's many types of of uh, flasher rasses. You can get a six line ras. Um, or a chorus ras, to be completely honest with you. Um, just remember with rasses, I, even myself, have lost one without a cover. So make sure you have a tight-fitting lid on the tank. Um, there's nothing worse than losing a fish um, from a jumping out of the aquarium, in my personal opinion, because it's something that can uh, easily be prevented by, you know, taking the measures to secure a lid on the tank. And... Um, I was actually in the process of, of making of, or getting a lid for my tank when I lost my uh, my flash harass after adding a, a new fish in. It spooked it and it flew right out of the tank. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, now the next fish that you can look at and one that I'm personally looking at as being kind of like a centerpiece fish for my uh, for my Red Sea Reef for 350 is uh, a rabbit fish, um, either the yellow fox face or the one spot fox face um and they're yeah they're just gorgeous fi gorgeous fish they uh love to graze all day on algae and um they do have a bit of personality i think they actually like to follow whatever fish you have in the tank around and they're quite funny fish to be honest just bear in mind that their top spines are venomous so just be careful when you are netting them and stuff like that um and again they will kind of be your center one of your centerpiece fish in a four foot tank they do grow about you know six seven inches something like that but um they will readily accept pellet food frozen food so you shouldn't have a problem with feeding them at all um if you do see them go completely like a brown or black color it's when they're stressed out they'll probably be at that stage when you when you net them or you're messing around with the tank so don't worry too much about that now the next few fish are optional and it's kind of like a handle with care or you know sh show extra care sort of thing um and it's fish that i'd probably add at the same time as a rabbit fish or or with the wrasse um and it's if you're going for a, a tang or a uh, or an angel fish um at the moment personally i'm not really looking at a angel fish myself um, because I would like to introduce uh, some sort of tang instead. Um, there are a few tangs that are known to do very well in four foot tanks, such as, um, you know, like a Tamini tang, uh, a blue eye bristle tooth tang, which is a very nice fish. Even a yellow tang can live for a very long time in a four foot tank um, before it'll outgrow it. Um, and on yellow tangs, if you, if you are looking to get your first tang, they do cost a bit more in Australia at least, but um, they have, in my opinion, the hardiest tang um, out there. Um, just of all the specimens that I've seen, you know, in all the fish shops around Melbourne, about 90% of them have looked, you know, very, very healthy. And um, I think you'll you'll read the same things online and stuff like that. Um, the, the last tang that I would look at adding is uh, probably a blue tang for a temporary amount of time um, but again just extra care make sure you choose the right specimen really um, take your time to view it and just know that it gets quite large 
and you may have to move it on um but for me personally it's it's a favorite fish um and i would like to get one in the tank but uh, we'll just have to see if we can find a you know a really good specimen that looks very healthy is eating and is active um but yeah any one of those tangs uh should be okay for a while um or the alternative you can look at an angelfish now if you know being a reef tank you just have to bear in mind that um you know your corals may be nipped at so just keep that in mind um now i'd recommend probably three angelfish um that you could go with not obviously three at once but there's three ones that i'm quite familiar with which is the coral beauty um the flame angel and the bicolor angel which um the flame angel and the bicolor you might have a little bit of trouble um, with getting them to eat initially uh coral beauty should be okay but um having uh and i say this as the fish to add last um for a reason because having other fish in there um will help to bring these other angel fish out to eat and as they see the other fish eat they'll be less timid and shy and it just it really helps them to get out of the tank so just keep that in mind um when you were getting these fish i wouldn't get your bigger fish first anyway in my opinion but um yeah that's pretty much my list um they're actually i i had a look before there's no video um for stocking ideas for a a 75 gallon or a 275 liter tank on youtube for for reef tanks so hopefully this video helped you out um and gave you you know some idea of what you can keep um i'd say keep you know you can easily keep one from each um from each you know category that are listed out of you know clownfish blenny dotty backs gobies hawk hawkfish wrasse rabbit fish and and a tang um just bear in mind with the tang um or the angelfish they are they can be tricky um they sometimes can be prone to you know your marine egg velvet stuff like that so um just keep that in mind um and yeah quarantine is always there as an option for people who can do it um you know there's obviously pros and cons to quarantine my opinion but i'm not going to get into it um, but if you've got the space and you know the facility to do it uh, go for it but um yeah that's uh, pretty much it for me for this video um i hope you guys can take something out of it and uh personally i hope i can stick this list i know it's really hard in the hobby um because you, you sometimes fall in love with the predators <laughs> in the um in the the predator type fish in the in the reef game you know like your your triggers um your lionfish your puffers um things like that and i think a lot of people definitely you know panic by them or not panic by but um impulse by them <laughs> but um yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video um you know if you if you did leave a like or something and uh yeah happy reefing guys peace